famous We Love Houston sign just off Interstate 10. We're coming to you from the Toyota Center in the biggest city in the Lone Star State. Greetings and best wishes for a happy holiday season from all of us at 2K Sports as we get set for this NBA presentation. And on tap tonight, it's the Houston Rockets going up against the Indiana Pacers. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. You know, right now for the Pacers, they've had an interesting start to the year. Lately, they put together some nice wins, and you get the general sense that their confidence is growing. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines, and we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Hey, Kevin. Well, the big man, DeMontis Sabonis, is following in his father's Hall of Fame footsteps. We all remember what Arvita Sabonis looked like when he was healthy, both in Russia and when he came over to the NBA. Domas watched his dad play with the Blazers and dreamed of becoming an NBA player in his own right. Well, he's arrived. Last season, DeMontis became a first-time All-Star. He's certainly doing his dad proud. Kevin? He sure is. Thanks, David. Well, we've seen some head coaching changes, Greg. We're early in the season. How long does it take to fully implement, do you think, a, a new system with a new coach? You know, it's a tough question, Kevin. It really can, can depend on how difficult or complicated the system is. But all things being equal, the, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. Sabonis and Turner up front. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Karis LeVert. And it's Warren in at the three, the small forward. And for Houston, all out there with Victor Oladipo. Then it's P.J. Tucker. Then it's Christian Wood. And it's Porter in at the small forward. Now here's Wall. Oladipo outside. Outside, Wall. Houston moving the ball around. Five on the clock. Beyond the arc. That shot, no good. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. Well, they came into that game looking to be physical, looking to control the boards, and they succeeded. That control of the boards, I felt, fed their offense. There were a ton of second chances, a lot of confidence their bigs could dominate the glass. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago some intimidation right away got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long Oladipo on the wing. A three-pointer off the mark. Now the Pacers with it. To the middle. Here's Turner. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Turner's got the first points up on the board tonight here for the Pacers. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Ball against Brogdon. Wall's shot is good. And this is where John Wall sets himself apart. The ability to get contact and finish with the best of them. Brogdon kicks to Levert. Back to Brogdon. And there's the call on Kevin Porter. That's his first foul. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. Down low. And Turner with the basket on the assist by Warren. Turner's got his second bucket tonight. Well, this is one aspect you'd like to see more of from T.J. Warren. We know he's a great scorer. Pretty dime there. Outside wall. 
and he uses the glass on the layup. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Now, here's Brogdon. He had 16 points in the win against Oklahoma City. Warren. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And, and T.J. Warren has always been able to score. Gives you production whether he's playing the three or the four. Greg, the numbers have never been a concern for T.J. Warren. He's always been a solid scorer. He's increased his efficiency. He's leaned a little bit more heavily on the three-point opportunity, which is so important. For him, to me, it's about staying healthy. First one falls. It seems to me, guys, that T.J. Warren every year adds one more dimension to his game. We know this. This guy can play on the offensive end. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And Christian Wood, undrafted in 2015 out of UNLV. Wait a minute. That's your alma mater. <laughs> hey, talk about his game. What do you like about Christian Wood's game? Well, first I'll start with he went to UNLV. Uh, he's long. He's lean. He, I think he really fits the modern NBA as a small ball center. Able to hold his own on the glass and space the floor. This guy is such a good all-around player. Karis LeVert sharpening his court awareness and finding his open teammates. Outside, Wall passes to Wood. Tucker with the ball. Oladipo for three. The shot comes out. Pacers leading by three. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Rodgen the pass to Sabonis. Lavert kicks to Turner. A shot that time, not on target. The Rockets go the other way with it. This game against Indiana, the first time they've met this year. And you have to love it when there's a matchup like this. Two teams that are at the top of their respective conferences going at it. And the fact that they split their two meetings last season. Does one try to get a leg up? They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the stripe. The Pacers have shot two free throws and they're one of two so far. And the free throw drops for Levert. Well, it's no secret, guys, that Karis Levert can flat out score the basketball. I think the key for him moving forward just become more and more efficient because the ability is there. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's Levert. He had 15 points last out, and there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And here's a look at some numbers for Victor Oladipo. And guys, this effective field goal percentage is trending in the wrong direction over the past five games. Shot discipline hasn't been the best. He'll be looking to play a smarter game tonight. Here is Porter. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Oladipo for three. Sabonis grabs the board. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. And it's the Rockets with the ball. Six-point game. Odipo against LaVert. 
Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Houston's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Oladipo dishes the wall, uses the glass to finish the layup. Wall's got six. Now, Victor Oladipo's passing skills probably unappreciated. This guy is very unselfish and capable. And here's Levert. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Has to turn. Down to five on the shot clock. Sabonis trying to get open. Turner passes to Sabonis. Levert from outside. And the rebound goes for the Rockets. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. Yeah, I mean, hard time shooting the rock in that one. But they also didn't give themselves the best looks. I think even when you get quality looks, there was an inability to stay consistent. It is hard to win on a cold shooting night in today's NBA. The scoring is just too good. You know, anticipation is a huge part of defense, and he played it perfectly right there. Here's Porter. Here's Wood. The kick out to Wall. Pass to Tucker. Tries yet again. And good. Coming off the assist by Wall. You know, we see this a lot from Tucker. Scores by overpowering the defender with his tremendous strength. Here's Levert. Brogdon outside. Oh, Turner in position. It's stolen by Oladipo. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Oladipo's running. Porter, no luck. Indiana leading. Here's Levert. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. And that's all about the quick first step of Karis Levert. He gets to the rack in no time. Brogdon against Wall. Pacers with the rebound. Turner's got his fourth rebound in this one. Levert against Oladipo. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Back to Brogdon. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Well, it takes a certain level of composure and willingness to absorb contact on the interior. Step up there, Mr. Brogdon. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. They trail by six. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Greg, who would you choose as the best defenders of the NBA pick and roll? Oof. That is a, a tough one. This will surprise some people. Uh, Nikola Jokic ah. uh, is one of the better big men defending the pick and roll, in part because of his instincts. You know, he doesn't impress me in terms of his physical attributes, but his mind, the ability to anticipate, having a sense of how perimeter players play the game, he's a guy that's terrific. Uh, I'll, I'll give you an oldie but goodie in Andre Iguodala. He's still yes. terrific. Uh, and, and I pick bigger guys because you've got to be able to switch that and guard smaller players. And, you know, at the center and, and the swing position, those are two guys that still are very reliable. Here's Holiday after Dante Exum's bucket. Outside Turner. There's the pass to Lamb. Six on the shot clock. McLemore with the ball. He averages a bit over six points a game. Now Exum. Passes it to Wood. But three. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Turner's got five rebounds tonight. McConnell passes to McDermott. Misses the layup. Rockets trail by four. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Pass to Exum. Pass to Gordon. Let's it go. The rebound by Turner. The Pacers have gone 7 of 15 from the field to this point. Now, here's McConnell. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. It's good. 
and they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. And here are the Rockets now. And here's Exum. The pass to Gordon. Over McConnell. And no good. So the Pacers will take it the other way. Holiday attacking. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle. So a chance at the line for one more. And how about the terrific use of the crossover there to just throw the defender off balance. The Pacers shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. The Rockets making a switch here. Waba's checked in. Free throw, good, Holiday. And in last year's playoffs, we saw zone defense turn the tide in certain games. And Doris, we know when executed well, they can throw an offense completely out of rhythm. Kevin, I'm going to go back a step further to the Toronto Raptors championship two years ago, where they throw a box and one, a triangle and two, and multiple zone looks that helps them win a championship. Look no further than Miami's deep run in last year's playoffs. Listen, that can change the whole rhythm of a game. It can force an offense to start second-guessing itself. When you can change the rhythm, the tempo, and mix looks and force a team to think and really operate under duress, it only helps you win ball games. Here's Gordon. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Now here's McLemore outside. Indiana leading by nine. McConnell with it. Outside Holiday. Here's Turner. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Turner's got his third basket of the night right there. The Rockets shooting well off their usual numbers, around 29% so far. Here's Nwaba, Turner covering. Now the Pacers with it. They're on a 13-4 run right now. No good from Lamb. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. This is it to Gordon. And it's sent back by Turner. Miles Turner with that length sends it back twice on the pipes. Miles. Indiana's gone 0-2 from deep here. Pass to Turner. Outside Holiday. Back to Turner. He kicks it to Holiday. Five to shoot. Here's McConnell. All three off the mark. Rockets trail by nine. Now Exum kicks it out to Gordon. Launches a three. Rebounded by McDermott. No doubt the fight's there. They are trying to battle back, but he's just really struggling this quarter. Turner controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Pacers lead by 11. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And they double up Gordon. Dishes to house. Misses the three. And you will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Bounce pass from McConnell. Now here's Lamb, guarded by McLemore. And now the fast break Exum with the ball. Three-pointer. And there's McLemore on the assist by Exum. Well, how about the outstanding vision from the crafty point guard, Dante Exum, seeing the floor beautifully. Over in the corner, Lamb. And so it's the Indiana Pacers in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break.
And if you're like me and curious about Victor Oladipo's overall philosophy, listen to this. I think the biggest thing is just the relentlessness. No matter what's going on, no matter how hard you want to do well or if you mess up, just keep going. Just keep playing hard. Just give it your all. And, um, you can live with the results after that because you know you gave it 110 percent. And you know, Greg, I haven't ever heard anyone question his effort. He came into the league as a raw athlete. Now he's a skilled assassin. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Pacers? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And so in the game for the Rockets. They've got Exum. He's out there with Gordon. And it's McLemore in at the small forward position. Now Turner after Eric Gordon's three-pointer that didn't go. And the foul on Miles Turner. That's foul number two for him. John Walls checked in for Dante Exum. And the Pacers also making a change. Sabonis, he's checked in for Miles Turner. Rockets trail by eight. Oh, here's Gordon. Teardrop shot, and the layup is good. Gordon's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Pass to Sabonis. It's rebounded by Houston. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. And it's Gordon missing. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on John Wall. Well, if you can get the defender lifted on the up fake, as McDermott does there, such an effective move. Boy, when you think about Doug McDermott, the last few years with the incredible shooting he brings, he's also been efficient. And though the volume is limited, this guy has done as good a job as he can picking his spots. First free throw is good. And Doris, with McDermott, he knows that's how he's most effective on the floor. That's exactly right, Greg. This guy knows his strengths, and that's his outside shooting, his ability to stretch the floor, the amount of deep shots he takes the last few seasons. This guy is a nice weapon to create space for people around him. And McDermott drops them both. I think I like the skill set of Doug McDermott. He's a phenomenal shooter, and he's got tremendous range. Here's Wall. And Demontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got rebound number five here tonight. And the wide-open shot from Warren. And a great assist by Brockton as that one goes in. Warren's got the lead up to 11 now for the Pacers. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. For Houston, they've gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Elbow shot is on the way. That one off the back iron and out. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Brogdon trying to get open. Warren, good. Warren's got five points in the quarter. The way Warren controls his body is truly impressive. He's got the frame to absorb it. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Minnesota where they'll take on the Timberwolves. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. It's good. That right there is as good a screen as you will see, and no one rotates defensively to pick up the open man. Flattening the lottery odds, Greg, do you think that's worked out as intended? You don't hear as many predictions about who's going to get What's the up? one pick or the second pick. I think that's good for the players and the fans. You don't want anyone rooting for you to lose. No, 
Absolutely not. That free throw good from Gordon. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And there's the pass to Sabonis. Pass to Brogdon. And there's Sabonis. That's good on the assist from Brogdon. Brogdon's got four assists now tonight. Outside, Wall over Warren. Wall's shot is off. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Brogdon, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. What a nasty finish from Malcolm Brogdon. My goodness, go to work. So it's the Rockets now. It's a 14-point game. Levert against Gordon. Outside, Porter. The rebound by Holiday. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Pass to Sabonis. Inside. And again, it's Indiana converting. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Wall up top is guarded by Brogdon. Wall, that's good. Quickness, touch in the paint. John Wall looking confident. And it's Indiana's ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Brogdon outside. Right side, Holiday. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Holiday's got his first basket. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. Rockets trail by 16. It's deflected. Boy, T.J. Warren showing some activity on the defensive end. Great timing on that block. To the middle. And it's Warren with the jam. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. And so here is Houston following the score by Indiana. The kick out to Wall. Offensive rebound. Tucker. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to go on Sabonis. I uh, just love the activity, a fireball of energy. Tucker earning himself a trip to the strike. Houston shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And the first one at the line is good. So for the Rockets, Christian Wood comes in for David Mwaba, and it's Victor Oladipo in for Eric Gordon. free throws good from Tucker now make no mistake guys one of the more effective second round picks we have in the NBA Tucker provides a steady diet of production now here is Lavert. five points in the game they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. to the inside and now Oladipo pushing it up no one back oh what big time athleticism from Victor Oladipo up and off the ground in a hurry. Brogdon looking it over. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And one thing I like about Brogdon is his size. A huge 16 wingspan for a guard. Gives him an advantage in matchups. Lets him finish over smaller defenders as well. free throw is good 
And great with Brogdon and his size, it allows flexibility on defense as well. Yeah, I mean, it makes switching on the pick and roll easier with him at the top. There isn't a lot of flash to how Brogdon plays on the floor, but you can't deny how impactful he is in all facets. Just solid. Really, one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Outside wall. Fires from deep. The shot, no good. So the Pacers will take it the other way. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Levert finds a bonus. It's stolen by Oladipo. And here comes the break. Here's Wall. Good. And it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Wall's got four points in the quarter. Love how alert Oladipo is on the defensive end, using that impressive reach to mess with the passing lanes. Pass to Brogdon. Indiana moving it around. It's Brogdon on the wing. Back to Sabonis. That one a little long. Boy, what a job defensively. You couldn't play that any better. A wide open look here for Oladipo. And it's off from three-point range. I'll say it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. Now here's Lavert. He's tightly guarded. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Down low and finished off by Porter. Well, a lot of Wall's passes end up on the highlight reel. He just makes it so easy for his guys to catch and finish. Now here's Lavert. He's got five. Now the pass to Brogdon. In the corner, it's Sabonis. From beyond the arc, the Pacers keeping it going. A new 14-second clock. Well, T.J. Warren is terrific at using his frame to become a factor on the glass. I love it. Outside, Porter. Oladipo for three. Traps in the tray. Oladipo's got five. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Ogden kicks to Sabonis. Oladipo with the double team. Levert against Oladipo. The offensive rebound. Rogged in the pass to Warren. Outside Holiday. Six to shoot. And that one goes out of bounds. That's touched by Porter. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Indiana Pacers. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. Then on Friday, they'll be facing Kyrie Irving and the Brooklyn Nets. And that game against Memphis, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. For the Rockets, Daniel House has checked in for P.J. Tucker. McLemore has come in for Kevin Porter. And it's Exum in for John Wall. Indiana also making some changes. Turner's checked in for Warren. Jeremy Lamb comes in for Justin Holiday, And it's T.J. McConnell in for Levert. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. You look at Indiana. They're sitting eighth right now in the early going. I think for the Pacers, they haven't had the great season that some were expecting. But it hasn't been a disaster. They just need a few things to go right for them down the stretch. It's an amazing thing. If you can get a couple of wins, generate some momentum, you've got to believe they'll be just fine. Now here's McLemore. He averages a bit over six points a game. With the floater, and he sinks the layup. McLemore's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Indiana leading by nine. And here's McConnell. Passes to Sabonis. Brogdon kicks to Sabonis. Shot clock at five. Stolen by Exum. And now the fast break Exum with the ball. And finished off by Exum. Well, Dante Exum quickly out into transition in the open floor. You cannot lose this guy. 
And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for the Indiana Pacers. They led by as many as 18 points. Right side, Sabonis. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Brogdon's got his seventh assist here tonight. Here's Houston now. They're on a 15 to 6 run. It's Oladipo on the wing. He's covered by McConnell. Back to Oladipo from deep three point range. The Pacers pull it in. Turner's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. That one falls. And now it's an 11-point Pacer lead. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Houston's gone 1-6 from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%. But they've continued to let him fly. Here's Oladipo. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against the Clippers. Brogdon with it. A minute 42 left in the first half. And McConnell gets it to go. Malcolm Brogdon has been rock solid since he won the Rookie of the Year award. This guy's capable as a scorer, and what a pretty pass there. Now, here's Oladipo. He's got five. Pass to Wood. The Rockets with another miss. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. That one goes. Count it. Brogdon's got six in the quarter. Yeah, after a first quarter where they struggled from long range, they really started to get it closer to the basket. Rockets trail by 15. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. To house kicks to McLemore to the right side. Six on the shot clock to end the run. Oladipo, no good that time. Nice D from Sabonis. Locked in right side. Here's Lamb. Can't cash in on the 10 foot jump. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Indiana leading by 15. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Now here's McConnell. Guarded by Oladipo. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, to me, the size of Sabonis creates problems for the defense. You cannot be careless in how you guard this guy. For Indiana, they have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. First one falls for him. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. And Sabonis drops them both. And it took them a while to find their touch at the line, but they have been red hot here in the second quarter. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Here's Wood. And that time, also a missed shot. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. And so it's T.J. Warren making highlights for Indiana. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Back right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, can't tell you uh, 
how how much it means to us to have you back with us on the uh, halftime show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, uh, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. It means oh, the world, brother. doesn't it? I miss you. Yeah. So big. Big time play throughout the first half for T.J. Warren. He had 16 points, two assists, and one rebound. And guys, you look at the career of DeMontis Sabonis, he made a huge leap in his production. Fantastic across the board. Sometimes you jump, you got to go straight up, and you can't go over. Sabonis went, and he had a solid year. He's becoming a star. His shooting and passing and, and dribbling ability is probably second to very few in that league. You know, he's improved his rebounding tremendously. I think Sabonis can get even better in the next few years. Not as good as his daddy, but he's getting pretty good. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. What can you say? T.J. Warren, a very impressive effort here today. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And so in the game for the Pacers. Sabonis and Turner up front. Lavert out there with Brogdon. And it's Warren in at the three spot. And it's Wall with the ball for Houston. Trailing by 17. Off target from outside. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Sabonis, no good. And for Houston, they're shooting at a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. Porter, no luck. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And Kevin Porter Jr., all the issues you'd expect from a rookie, Greg. Unforced errors, a few too many fouls and turnovers. But as you and I were talking, and as the coaches told us, the upside is huge. I tell you, Kev, his first step with the ball in his hands is incredible. Can burst by defenders like they're waiting at a bus stop. Once he matures, he's going to be a handful to deal with. Lavert with a wide open look. And once again off the mark by Indiana. Not a terrific start here in the second half. Four attempts, nothing to show for it. Well, their first basket in four tries. Can that trigger a little bit of good shooting here? We'll find out. Now, here's Brogdon. He's got eight. They double him with Wall. To the paint. Rodged in the pass to Sabonis. Shoots over Tucker. And there's Sabonis. That's good on the assist from Brogdon. After an ugly 0 for 4 to start the half, they get one to fall. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Wall against Warren. And it's sent back by Turner. Ooh, and this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. Sabonis, no good. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. And finished off by Wood. What you love about John Wall to me is he can create for the guys around him. He makes the game easy for his teammates. Rogged in the pass to Levert. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Earning a trip to the line. Karis Levert is one tough guy. Has had to fight through so many leg injuries over the course of his career. Incredible. For Indiana, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Oh. 
Good on both. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Looking to get back on track here. Here's Tucker. Nice D from Sabonis. Pacers leading by 17. Brogdon with it. Now defended by Oladipo. Lavert kicks to Brogdon. Indiana moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. No good from 18. And the call will be against Karis Lavert. That is his first foul of the game. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. The Rockets have gone two or seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvement, certainly. Lavert against Oladipo. He kicks to Tucker. Here's the three. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Brogdon outside. And slam dunk by Sabonis. And that's a double-double for him now. 10 points and 13 rebounds. I'll tell you, DeMontis Sabonis has got some big-time athleticism. That's a pretty dunk. Wall against Brogdon. Now, here's Wall. He's covered closely. Fires the three. Doesn't go that time. So Indiana will take it the other way. Warren, the pass to Sabonis. The steal. Left side, Porter. Good, and it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Oladipo's got his fifth assist in this one. Now, Lavert. He's got seven. Brogdon outside. Here's Sabonis. Shoots over Tucker. Sabonis kicks to Brogdon. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Sabonis, no good. Rockets trail by 17. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. All alone from mid-range. They know he won't miss many of those. Now, here's Lavert. Down low, and Turner throws it down. Now that's called positioning, and Turner has the verticality to make it easy. Houston's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third, still 0 for 3. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. And the Rockets making a change here. Houses checked in, then for the Pacers. Justin Holliday's checked in for Sabonis. And Aaron Holliday is subbed in for Brogdon. And Wall kicks to Oladipo. The pass to Porter. To the middle. Here's Wall. He can't get it to go. And Indiana will come the other way. Outside Holliday. Lavert against Porter. A nice shot by Lavert. Lavert's got nine. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Houston Rockets. To the inside, Turner with the steal. Now here is Holiday. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Eight feet away. He misses his third shot of the game. He has made six of his nine. Rockets trail by 21. Wall looking for an opening. 
laid in with a nice touch off the glass. He's got 14. Boy, John Wall's ability to finish through contact, that is great upper body strength. Holiday, the pass to Labert. Back to Holiday. Turner against Oladipo. Holiday with the three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Turner. Holiday's got his second bucket. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. And for Houston, they're shooting a pretty brutal 29% since the break. Tucker, the pass to House. There's the dish to the wall. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. A you know, physical finish by Wall, and if you're defending, you've got to get your money's worth. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Catching up on the changes for Houston. David Mwaba is checked in for P.J. Tucker. Ben McLemore comes in for Kevin Porter. And Gordon subbed in for Oladipo. Well, the athleticism and ferocity with which John Wall plays the point guard position. And you add that to the frame he brings to the table and look out. Now here's Lamb. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Passes it to McDermott. Turner trying to free himself up. Nice shot by McDermott. Well, McDermott is working on that interior game because he has size and touch. And here's Wall. He's got 17. And it's sent back by Turner. Oh, Turner in position. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. No one near Wall as he lets it go. Drops in the tray off the fast break. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Here's Holiday. He has six. Lamb finds McDermott. Just five to shoot. Here's Holiday. No good there. Wall with some nice D. Rockets trail by 18. And here's Gordon from outside. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. Holiday with it. He dishes it to Turner. Holiday, the pass to Turner. Can't hit from the elbow. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration on his face. I'll tell you, he is absolutely playing some basketball right now. John Wall, nothing the defense has is impeding his progress. Now here's Lamb. Outside Turner. Here's Holiday. Rebound by House. And the foul on Miles Turner. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Dante Exum is checked in for the Rockets. And Indiana with a change here, too. McConnell's checked in. Houston's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Right side, Gordon. Over McConnell. The Rockets again can't hit. Pacers leading by 16. Here's McDermott. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. And it's six points for Doug McDermott. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Here's Gordon following the basket by Doug McDermott. Pass to House. There's the three. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Pass to McDermott. Exum pulls it in. And so it's Exum with it. They'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. They trail by 18. 
takes the 13 footer no good so Indiana will take it the other way fast break here comes Indiana it's intercepted and the foul on Miles Turner that will be foul number five on him yeah and that's number five one more and he is going to be done for the day the Rockets should not looking uh, too good out there in the second half right around 32 percent now Gordon he's got seven back to Exum rocket six here's the teardrop and he gets the bucket Exum's got his third bucket of the night uh, Dante Exum outstanding absorbing the contact just bullies his way with the defense holiday looking over the floor now here's McConnell defended by Gordon back to holiday out of hand on it it's his first trip to the line an 89% free throw shooter puts him right there among the league's best from the line. That free throw, no good. I think Dante Exum has got to concentrate and becoming a better shooter. He's got a ton of raw talent, and the upside is tremendous. Christian Woods checked in for Houston. And Indiana with a change here, too. Sabonis, he's checked in for T.J. McConnell. Now here is Holiday. He's got six. Inside, here's Turner, and it's slammed in by Turner. Well, this is where Miles Turner excels. Set the screen, roll to the basket, make sure your hands are up and ready to receive. Rockets trail by 17. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Wood kicks to house. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Well, a great decision to kick it out. Trust that your teammate will knock down the shot. Now here is Holiday. Just three on the clock. The putback. And oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter. And so it's the Indiana Pacers out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You'll love the unselfish play. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Rockets trail by 17. We've got Wood all out there with Gordon. Then it's Ben McLemore, and it's House in at the four. That's the five for Houston right now. Now here is Holiday down low. Lamb, yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got his third assist on the night. And for the Rockets, they're shooting 33% for the night. That's a big thorn in their side right now. Here's Wall, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Jeremy Lamb. Now, this guy lives at the free throw line. John Wall averages about five free throws a game over his entire career. Two shots. 
shot. Relax on the first. And he knocks down the first one. And so John Wall nails both of them. Pacers leading by 17. Brogdon outside. And the pass to Holiday over McLemore. The shot by Holiday, no good. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Now, here's Brogdon. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. And slam dunk by Sabonis. Malcolm Brogdon, just so savvy. He's got size, strength, and vision. Nicely done. Rockets trail by 19. And here's Gordon. It's rebounded by Indiana. Sabonis has got his 16th rebound on the night. Here's Lamb. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. And the Pacers lead by 21. Boy, when Malcolm Brogdon is aggressive, it changes everything for this team. What a pretty pass. The Rockets have gone 0 of 3 to start the fourth quarter. To the paint. Here's Wall. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. He, he got a little ahead of himself there trying to pull the team even. That's a big miscue, and you hate to see that happen at this point in the game. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the Rockets. Kevin Porter comes in for McLemore. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for the Pacers. Harris Levert comes in for Aaron Holiday. And there's the foul. It'll go on P.J. Tucker. That'll be his second foul of the game. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Brogdon outside. Passes it to Levert. And here's Sabonis. The baseline jumper goes down. Sabonis has got four points in the quarter. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for Houston. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Count the basket. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Pass to Brogdon. You know, Doris, I've heard some experts say, you look at the six-foul limit, the NBA is basically the only sports league that takes stars off the floor. Doris, what would you think if they just tacked on an extra free throw instead? Kevin, I absolutely hate the idea. The best defensive teams at any level of basketball guard at a high level without fouling. There's the drama aspect of a player being in foul trouble, either at the start of the game or down the stretch. It has an impact on strategy. It's something that I'm a traditionalist on. I think the six foul rule should remain in the game. Here's Levert after Eric Gordon's bucket. Levert the pass to Sabonis. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Levert's got six assists in the game. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Now here's Wall. 18 feet out. It's rebounded by Indiana. Brogdon's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Levert powered down with both hands. How about that authority from Mr. Karras Levert? Go ahead, sir. Here is Wall. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Outside Porter. 
Back to Wall. Fires the three. Hits it from three-point range. Wall's got 29. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Rogged in the pass to Levert. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one's on Eric Gordon. Well, you're seeing another element of Karis Levert's game. The shot fake, tough to stay down on if you're that defensive player. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Doris, you and I know the quality of play in the NBA bubble was terrific. And some people have said a lack of travel, a possible reason why. The league, we think, looking at ways to reduce travel moving forward. Exactly, Kevin. And one option on the table is the, quote, series model. You see it in baseball, where you play consecutive games against a single opponent. So what about the states with multiple teams, New York or California? Can you play all of those teams in one trip? This not only preserves players, but it also cuts travel expenses, something the league is looking hard at. Here's Tucker. Good work defensively by Turner. Indiana leading by 22. Brogdon outside. To the inside. Here's Sabonis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Hey, well, you look at the development of DeMontis Sabonis. Few thought he could be a franchise caliber player. We might need to reconsider that given his play last year. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Sabonis. And Sabonis putting up all-star numbers last season. Greg, you and I think he's just getting started. Yeah, I mean, Sabonis only dominates a few areas of the game. Not a big defender. But he could be a 25 and 14 type down the line. He's still under 25 years old and has room to grow as a player. And Sabonis drops them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Timeout time called the Rockets. And Doris, last season, DeMontis Sabonis turned a corner in terms of development. He became a key cog in this offense. That's exactly right, Greg. Coach trusted him in more pick-and-roll situations. He allowed him to do more heavy lifting within the offense. And Sabonis has got great basketball IQ. He understands how to make reads, set solid screens. This is a guy who makes people around him better. Wall finds Oladipo. Looking to get it going. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Lavert the pass to Sabonis. Back to Lavert. Indiana moving it around. And here's Warren for three. Indiana again missing. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Rockets. And a wide open look for Porter. And good, coming off the assist by Wall. Wall's got five assists tonight. Pacers leading by 21. Pass to Lavert. Now Brogdon, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Porter. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. That's miscommunication, and we rarely see that happen. Houston's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Wall passes to Wood, and finished off by Wood. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Here's Levert. Floats one up. Victor Oladipo grabs the miss. 
Rockets trail by 19. With the second effort, and the whistle blows as the basket counts and a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. You know, you have to like that he's still getting quality touches and delivering now after getting blanked in the first half. Free throw good, Wood. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Now here's Turner. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Well, yet another selfless play from Miles Turner. Pretty pass to his teammate. All with it. And Oladipo has it in the corner. And good, coming off the assist by Wall. Wall's got his seventh assist in the game. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Here's Levert. There's the pass to Brogdon. Porter against Warren. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Porter's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Walls, shot is off. Pacers leading by 15. Levert the pass to Sabonis. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Oladipo's running. Yep, that one goes. Porter's got five points in the quarter. And you know what? He's shaken off the cold shooting performance from the first half. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And a wise move to call time out there. Uh, they need to settle down a bit. They, they've been playing out of control at times here, and it shows with their turnover numbers. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Malcolm Brogdon. And he's been the man running the show for them, and, and boy, has he done a great job. He's up in the double digits in assists, and more than a few of those have been of the spectacular variety. Uh, for them to be successful, his passing has to be a key component, and tonight it was on display. I don't think anyone in this building saw this coming. I'm sure that of the players who these fans thought would beat them, his name was not at the top of the list. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the Pacers talked to his team during the timeout. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. And that one is good. Well, I love that T.J. Warren is staying aggressive on the offensive end. Be in attack mode. Rockets trail by 15. Now Oladipo. The shot from the low post is good. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Outside, Sabonis. Back to Levert. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sabonis. And the Pacers lead by 15. And here are the Rockets now. They're on a 15 to 6 run. Here's Oladipo. Levert grabs the miss. Levert's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, we are talking about Two an shots. elite free throw Foul. shooter. If you send Two. Malcolm Brogdon to the line, you will pay. The first one falls. Of course, we all remember that Malcolm Brogdon back in 2016 was a second round draft pick. You certainly have to wonder do teams wish they had a redo with this guy? 
Brogdon hits them both. And it's Wall with the ball for the Rockets. Trailing by 17. The kick out to Oladipo from the arc. Pacers with the rebound. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Warren, good. Warren's got four points this quarter. Well, T.J. Warren's frame and game perfectly suited for a finish on the interior. Here is Wall. Lays it up and banks it in. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. Indiana leading by 17. To the middle. Wall with the steal. Here's Oladipo. Makes it off the glass. Well, you like how Oladipo leaks out in transition. So aggressive in the open floor. The Pacers shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Brogdon kicks to Levert. Left side, Turner. The nine-foot shot. And it falls over the rim and in. And the Pacers lead by 17. You can see how comfortable Miles Turner is on the interior. He knows he has the size and length to dominate. Wall up top. He's guarded by Brogdon. Wall's shot is off. Now, here's Levert. Brogdon outside. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Shot clock at six. To the inside. Levert the pass to Sabonis. That one, no good. So Houston will take it the other way. Wood with the bucket. Wood's got nine points here in the second half. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Warren on the wing, guarded by Porter, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. When T.J. Warren is being aggressive, good things tend to happen. Puts the defense in a tough spot there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Warren. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 136 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Oladipo against Levert. And it's sent back by Turner. And they're able to recover. Wood with the bucket. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Pacers. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And while there was some nice performances tonight, it definitely ended up being a solid outing for Miles Turner. Boy, I think he made his presence felt in the paint more than anywhere else. This guy's rebounding numbers were outstanding. He controlled the glass. Now, here's Sabonis. Shoots over Tucker. Rodden trying to get open. Sabonis with the bucket. And the Pacers lead by 20. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Wall against Brogdon. And Wall kicks to Wood. Off target from three-point range. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. Brogdon outside. 
Passes it to Levert. Out left to the wing. Here's Sabonis. Again, Indiana. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. A resounding victory for them and Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that about wraps it up. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.